Breaking news. We will impeach Buhari if insecurity continues. Lawmaker declares. Hello, my wonderful people. Lawmakers are beginning to rise up to the occasion. But you know what? They are still not there yet. So. Mm, the number of people that have died is still not enough. Uh, maybe they still need another one million. Mm? They are still thinking. Say we will. We will if. And remember, if you if you I mean if you did English, no matter how elementary, if they told us is an is a is a conditional statement, will may not be done if this condition is not fulfilled. And what do you mean by that? More people dying. Yes? Is that not the insecurity we are talking about? As a matter of fact, in case you have not heard, today uh, the Boko Haram group has declared a new leader, a new warlord leader. Uh, you've not heard. Things are going on. And the lawmakers are still thinking, you know, they are still in, you know, when you wake up, you are still, you are not there yet. You're starting to stretch, you know, get yourself together before you totally wake up. Uh -huh. They are still in that state. They are still in that cocoon. They are still debating if... You see, please don't forget to give us a thumbs so up, subscribe if this is your first time. Let's get all the details. We will impeach Buhari if insecurity continues. Lawmaker Bagos tells all. A lawmaker representing just south, just east, federal constituency at the House of Representatives, Dakshu Bagos, has said the National Assembly will consider impeaching President Muhammadu Buhari if the executive does not act on his security resolution now. The lawmaker stated this on Thursday while appealing and to the leadership to rise up. He said this while he appeared on China's television program, Sunrise Daily. Recall that the House of Representatives on Wednesday inaugurated a 40-man committee to find a solution to the country's security challenges. The committee is set to hold a four-day security summit in May. Bagos, during the TV program, said impeachment processes will be initiated if the summit resolution are not acted upon by the executive after some months. I tell you, a few millions are still needed to die before they will, before they will wake up. I told you they are not fully awake yet. You know when you wake up and you are still trying to wake up proper. Aha, uh -huh. they, are, they are still in the Google or Gaga land. That's what's happening. If anything is done by the executive after the if anything is done by the executive after the last result, then we will call for impeachment of the President Muhammadu Buhari. We have the power to impeach the president, you know. If he can no longer secure lives and property, what do we have him for? Nigerians can declare and can get him out of Aso Rock like that. So my people, the lawmakers are beginning to rise up. And this is part of the reasons why, if you look at what is going on with the whole jihadist thing, they want to conquer Joss. Yes, they want to conquer Joss at all costs, by all means. They want to conquer Joss. Because they know that, remember that Joss is, you know, is a very, I mean, is there, you know, as um, in between. You have Christians and Muslims. And that's why in the heat of the matter, they began to, you know, attack Joss seriously because some people want, you know, Joss, they want uh, 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 Joss not to have a say. And this is what they are doing. Lawmakers, House of Representatives, some time ago, Femi Baji Mamila, raised an alarm saying it is high time Buhari, you know, answer to the house. Do you know that he did not get the list of it? Oh, my people. Femi Gwaj Mamila was, <laughs> did you say intimidated or was uh, bullied? That's the right word. I mean, the guy could not say Jack. They really took on him. Before you know it, uh, law, uh, conference upon conferences, we are being heard in Abuja, in Lagos, because it's from Lagos, you see, and they were saying, uh, we have to take him out. We brought him to APC. We made him the speaker. Of, uh, Islamic group, uh, uh, northern groups, we are all making, I mean, allegations here and there. How dare he ask the president to come? And guess what? Long and short of it, the man did not go to the house to answer for insecurity. Oh, no. He didn't go there. In fact, Femi Gwaj Mamila secretly went to beg, apologized. After he called and asked Buhari to come and answer why this insecurity is so much. Do you know that they, they bullied him? 
to the extent that you went to apologize to them and you say Nigeria is working. <laughs> Nigerians don't understand what thing they happen. We don't understand them at all. When I don't understand the thing when don't they for grand now. The thing when they day for grand, now God go fit save us. The people when they don't make up their mind, say they won't do this and do that. They don't care who died because they themselves they are murderers. So they don't care. This is what is going on. So lawmakers are still thinking. Say if if insecurity continues, if it continues, the number of people that have died, the the, the stinge of fear emanating that people can actually touch with their fingers is not enough. Well, they are waiting for more people to die, more uh, news to come up here and there. Uh, they did 10, they killed 20. Probably that's the new, that's, that, that will motivate them more to do the right thing. But at the moment, eh, it's still okay. Mm, population, um, depopulating the population, it's okay. Just a few no, hundreds, a few, uh, maybe a million. Uh, we are how many million. How many million? That will not uh, that will not break the bank. If you get what I mean, that's the attitude which with which they are they are being displayed. They are displaying this thing, and guess what? He's even the only person really speaking. Where are the other lawmakers? As a matter of fact, if you've not heard, Ashiwaju uh, Ahmed Bola Tinubu's wife was you know picking on a lawmaker yesterday who was saying that President that Buhari needs to act now or something will be done. Do you know what she said? Because, you know, they have a private jet, they move around, they don't uh, step on the ground, There's the roads they refuse to do and all that. That's, uh, are you not an APC uh, lawmaker? Why are you speaking like that? Sheep in, sheep in wolf's, uh, what are they saying now? Sheep in wolf's, I mean, wolf in sheep clothing. Are you a wolf in sheep clothing? Meaning that you are not one of us. Where no APC should speak. And you can see how Tinubu also think. These are the people who want to be first lady because Tinubu wants to be president of the country. And if he wins, that's the first lady. You see the mind, you see that it's a fail. You know when you, you say never write a sign, you don't fail already. Now the matter be this. So. Now the same people, oh, Nigerians, don't be fooled. Oh. Those of you who are saying, eh, Tinubu, we stand with Tinubu, he should become Nigerian's president. Eh. Now so when I saw 2015, Nigerians they deceived themselves. So say, oh, we've gotten Buhari, things will change now. Where did change? Hey, <laughs> where did change, oh? Where he change? I ask you again. Where he change? Oh, hmm, you know what part of Nigeria they talk like that? I will leave it at that. Please don't forget to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe if this is your first time. We really appreciate you. Have a lovely and a fantastic day. Bye for now.